Hi, my name is Mrs. Morrissey, and I'm here to talk to you about small group reading instruction here at Lang. We use two different kinds of materials for small group reading instruction. We use leveled readers and we use decodable text. I'm going to tell you a little bit about each of these. Um, we start this primarily um, at the end of first quarter and well into um, second semester. We're working on foundational skills up until that point, and then we're ready to get um, these specialized books into their hands. The first one are leveled readers. Um, this is an example of a level A leveled reader, My Grandma the Beekeeper. This is one of my favorite books to do with kindergartners because one of kindergartners' favorite things are their grandparents. And so I love to um, have the students be able to talk about their grandparents. Um, this is a pattern text and the pages are pretty similar. The word my grandma has a, and then we're gonna pause and let's try to figure out this last word. So we would say the sounds in hat and figure out the last word. High frequency words are in these texts and it's really important to get a lot of repetition with these high frequency words. And the best way um, to do that, that you see these words on every page. So my and has, they're gonna get all sorts of practice with. Another example of a level text is surprise. This is a level D text. This is the level um, that they would be expected to read at the end of kindergarten or beginning of first grade. One of the most common things about a level D text is that there's dialogue in these texts. So you'll see quotation marks in these texts. So two of the high frequency words that you're gonna see a lot in these are said and ask because um, with the dialogue, those words are common throughout. There's other high frequency words in this book, can and put are all throughout the text, um, but the pattern is not as regular as it is in the other ones. Here is an example of one of our um, decodable text. We know how important phonics is. So phonics is, um, decodable texts are a great opportunity to practice that phonics. A cat got on the dog, on the pig, on the log. Sometimes the decodable text can almost be kind of silly like that because they want to make sure every word in this book is a word that when they know their foundational sounds, they can sound out. Um, the kids really enjoy practicing these, and when they're really good at their sounds, um, they can do very well with that. But one of the main goals of reading is comprehension. So ultimately, in the end, we want them to be able to ask um, answer questions about the text and also be able to retell this, the story. So we'll use things like first, next, then, in the end, or first, next, last, to have them be able to tell us about the story. Throughout our reading these books with the students, um, we'll model our own thinking. We'll say, hmm, what do you think will happen next? And we'll listen to the students and then we may tell them if we had a different idea of what might happen um, next. So I am very passionate about early literacy and reading, and please do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.